you know what i'm not even about to lie to y'all because there's no reason to i'm about to be brutally honest with every last one of you guys watching and the truth is i But what I am doing here is Tabata and you guys know I'm a big fan of hit high intensity interval training but I have adopted Tabata. I love it because it's more intense. With hit you do more seconds off than you do on and with Tabata you work more seconds on than you do off so it's a little bit more intense. It helps with weight loss. I really encourage you guys to try it. It pushes you to the limit especially on the bike because you are standing up. You are are sitting down you are climbing heels you are turning that resistance all the way up to where it's pushing you hard hard and heavy this is something that I will be doing on a daily basis every single day because I absolutely love it So after a good workout, it's good to get in your protein. It promotes muscle growth. It helps you to grow those muscles that you need. And if you guys do not know where to turn for your protein, this is a quick source of protein. It's really, really good. Built Bar. These bars, you guys know I've been showing you guys these bars for the longest. Super transparent with their calorie intake. 130 calories for this bar right after your workout you could just go ahead and pop it in your mouth and eat it you know how many calories you're getting it's super duper good even before your workout if you want to get you guys some good energy shots in this right here 90 calories like i said everything is really transparent will be built bar that's why i love it you guys can use keisha 20 for 20 percent off the link is down below thank me later here i am having my shot of chlorophyll and i have one tablespoon of this every single day and it's an internal deodorant and it's just the green stuff extracted from the actual plant when it comes down to your vegetables so if you eat your vegetables you don't have to drink it but i just love to drink it because it keeps you clean from the inside out you guys as you can see in the title I don't know what I'm going to title this video but y'all I'm about to be brutally honest with you guys and the truth is I need to lose some more weight and I talked to you guys about this recently in my double chin video stuff I kind of hinted that I was going on a weight loss journey and that's what I have been doing but this time I did not want to not document it and I know so many people is gonna be like Keisha Keisha you're always losing weight whatever and you're always unproductive how about that all right so stay out of my space with that garbage I'm on a quest to lose 33 pounds and I'm going to be documenting everything and this is one of the days that I'm documenting so you guys will be able to see it I, I honestly 
been on my journey since February 1st, but you guys are going to get a glimpse of what I'm eating today and my exercises and stuff like that, which you already saw that. And I'm going to give you guys some tips, tricks in case you want to start your weight loss journey too. Just a quick reason why, like I said, still having a, the double chin and then also I've been experiencing lower back pain, which means my butt is, my butt is massive y'all. It's literally massive and I just want to lose some weight, get toned and stay that way. I want this to be the last time that I go on a journey, a weight loss journey of any kind. I want to just stay healthy, get healthy. You guys know I already did the stuff on my mind, the pep talk to myself and figured out why I'm gaining and losing, gaining and losing. So I'm not really worried about gaining at all anymore. So yeah, I'm super excited in this time, you guys, this time. I want to make it easy for some of you guys to come along with me on a weight loss journey. So I am doing a lot, a lot, a lot of frozen dinners. Enter the realm of those frozen dinners. You have to be careful because a lot of them have a bunch of salt, a lot of additives, a lot of um, natural flavors, which aren't natural. And um, you want to look out for those things. So throughout this series of my weight loss journey, I'll be going into detail, letting you guys know which ones you should buy. I'll be um, showing you guys ingredients and this will just be a fun weight loss journey for all of us so I am breaking my fast kind of late today I am having a vegan breakfast burrito and I'm having half of this banana and some baby spinach with baby arugula I'm gonna make a smoothie out of the banana and the spinach and arugula and then have my breakfast burrito on the side I'm good at logging my food in my head I log it like one day which is like a Monday right and after that I eat the same thing repetitively so I just don't go ahead and keep logging and logging I just stick to eating the same thing but for the video's sake I'm logging all of my food and if you are new to a weight loss journey even if you are OG you should at least log it one day to see what you are getting in so you won't overeat and stick to that same pattern all week long and said I have um, a positive pattern detected I guess this breakfast burrito I don't know oops I forgot to add in half of my banana so I'm going to show you guys that right now see it's pre-calculated already 55 calories for half of a banana so as you guys can see my calories drop down to 911 calories I have to go to meet my calorie budget so I have regular old picante sauce right here and then I have my burrito my smoothie and then I have this little bowl right here and I literally verbatim you guys see me log it I literally only put four tablespoons in here three four and if you are trying to calorie count and lose weight you need to be specific with what you are doing you need to be very very specific otherwise you'll be hit or miss your weight loss will not be what you expect it to be so count those calories measure everything out and you will lose the weight and boom baby there's breakfast okay i'm getting ready to have lunch and i am having this coconut curry bowl and you guys as i told you before when it come down to this microwavable dinner thing that we are on this journey that we are on you want to make sure like i said these foods are whole foods in here there's no preservatives no additives not a bunch of salt and not a bunch of sauces and different things like that you want to make sure that um it's pretty clean because with your weight loss journey of course you can eat anything and lose weight but you want to make sure that you are healthy as well oh so while it is heating up i am going to go ahead and log it you guys when i tell you how much um this app is helpful it just get any type of app where you can log your food see 300 calories 300 calories everything is all the same there as you can see but you need an app that's going to help you to log your calories and doing it like this with these microwavable dinners it's so so much easier so i definitely recommend it if you are on a weight loss journey try it this way if cooking your own food is a little bit too hard for you try it with these dinners and you guys will see a difference literally so here's lunch you guys might not think it look all that appealing but it's about losing your weight and this stuff is actually good i just threw in some pepper flakes you guys know i love my hot food and then when you are trying to lose weight add in that hot hot um the spices and jalapenos and all of that stuff it helps you to burn calories even quicker Woo! but y'all this smells so good 
So now I am allowed a snack into my plan. I'm trying to show you guys everything verbatim so you guys can follow this if you want to. I'm about to have two cups of popped popcorn with three tablespoons of nutritional yeast on top with some pink Himalayan sea salt, some black pepper. And I pulled these out so you guys can see that you can choose either one of these i'm choosing to use avocado oil and then you guys can choose to use extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil it's totally up to you but i spray a little bit of, of that one that and it tastes so rich so creamy without even a lot of calories like this is literally when you spray a little bit of this it's null and void when it comes down to calories so there's no need to count them but if you are going crazy spraying a whole bunch you need to add that into your calories like put it into a teaspoon or something like that i don't even recommend having a teaspoon of oil because when you go that crazy your calories begin to add up the key to some popcorn having it the healthy way is popping it in an air um an air popper popcorn an air popcorn popper whatever that's called okay an air popcorn popper <laughs> that's the key to it to having healthy pop so I'm about to show y'all how to get some bomb air pops popcorn, okay? So on top of my um, popper, there's this little cup right here. And I'm going to fill this cup up with some popcorn. And then I'm going to dump it into my air popper. Super simple super easy and then I'm going to turn it on and then I'll show you guys the rest in a minute I'm going to do some b-roll because this is going to get super duper loud when I turn it on I'm about to give you guys an idea how I'm doing this I'm taking the oil right here and again this is the avocado oil that you guys are seeing here spraying it two three four okay and then I'm adding in my three tablespoons of nutritional yeast one two three okay and then I am going to, I'm trying to finesse the olive one hand real quick with the pink Himalayan sea salt. Not too much because the nutritional yeast is already adding in a little bit of salt. And then I kind of go crazy with my pepper. And then after that, give it a good stir. And you guys, this is the best popcorn that you've ever had in your life. No butter, no none of that stuff. Don't go adding butter, okay? Track them calories. Okay, so with the popcorn and the nutritional yeast, you guys can see 226 calories. And we are not counting. I said it was four. I mean, I said it was two cups of popcorn, but it wound up being actually four cups of popcorn that I logged. I just, I don't know why I said two to you guys. My bad, whatever. But we are not um, adding that oil in because like I told you, that's zero calorie oil because it's in a spray form. The salt, we're not adding that. It's calories and then pepper. We're not adding that either because that's not calories at all. I don't understand why people go ahead and add things like that. But anyway, as you guys can see, nutritional yeast is kind of up there when it comes down to calories. But I love it so much. And you guys could have substituted that if you want to with something else. But I choose to use the nutritional yeast. So I just wanted to show you guys an example when I talked about the oil. So you guys can see right here, it tell you for that many seconds, if you spray it, it'll be zero calories. So basically, if you go and spray this, and you count to one, two, three, four, five. After five seconds, that's when it becomes calories. But if you, <laughs> what does that mean? How I just did, like quickly just spray a little here, a little there, just to kind of get it all over your food, then you won't have to worry about that. But it's like zero calories, and you guys can see it's just avocado oil. It's nothing extra added into it. And if you're going to get some oils, get some quality oils. I think Pam is the same thing when it comes down to calories and the sprays and stuff like that. But if you're going to use some oil, honey, use some quality oil. Quality oils. I encourage you to use oils that are quality because if not, what is the point, sis? Okay, it's now time for dinner and I'm just having this SoCal kale and bean bowl and you guys see what's in there as well. 
gluten free I just warm it up on four minutes and then that is that and as you guys can see here I already have the bowl right here so I could just tap on it 280 calories add that to the mix snack I get to add one more snack into the mix and that is this ice cream that you guys see right here that's right the girls eating ice cream for a snack this <laughs> This way of eating and this is a chocolate fudge bar of course it's vegan and stuff so 90 calories and this way of eating is so simple and so easy so as you guys can see you do not have to work miracles in order to lose weight or in order to get on a journey that's going to help you to become the best you that you can be you can have those microwavable dinners you can have dinners that you can make at home i want to bring you guys different options throughout this journey of mine i'm super excited i'm always excited when i go on a journey and then you guys come along with me that's let me stop I'm turning all into a little kid but you guys like I said I'm going to bring you dinners that are not high in additives that are not high in sodium that are not high in a bunch of sloths I said sauces, sauces that's just slathered, slathered in there that's going to help you put on weight versus take it off and as I said before when it comes down to those additives you can literally eat meals that have additives in it and they're different added natural flavors which aren't really natural you can do whatever you want to do but why I'm choosing not to do that is because when I am talking to you guys about weight loss, it is my responsibility to bring you guys healthy things because you might be feeding this stuff to your kids, to your husbands, to your mothers, grandmothers, and different things like that. And we are about healthy weight loss here. You can lose weight, as I always say, eating a bunch of Snickers, eating a bunch of Twinkies, eating a bunch of ice cream. But no, we want quality weight loss. We want long-term heart health, cholesterol health blood pressure health we want everything intact when we are trying to lose our weight give me a thumbs up for more of these kind of videos you guys these are so exciting because it's a little bit different so just know when you are clicking on these what i eat in a days there will be something different in here that you guys can grab from and that you guys can take from now i might add in a couple of cooked meals i just might add in a couple of cooked meals and if you guys have any requests that you want to see that's vegan that's cooked let me know if you guys have any requests that you want to see that's vegan that's microwavable let me know that as well i'm super open um i don't have uh you, you guys know how i print out my meal plans i'm doing that week by week so i can give you guys input so you guys can put input on what you think i should eat or if you want some ideas because i'm here to help y'all okay i know this stuff this stuff isn't new to me i can do this in my sleep so i'm here to help you guys so and another thing i know all of y'all been emailing me and wanting help on your weight loss journey I I will get around to the emails i'm working with a handful of people right now after that i work with a handful of other people i have me on my weight loss journey my husband on he is i'm cooking for my kids different things like that it's just like so much going on so i have not forgot about you guys make sure you follow me on my socials and make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below thumbs this video up and leave me a heart if you are ready for your weight loss journey